South Korea today reported a decline in new cases of COVID-19, fewer than 600 new cases, but in part because of fewer tests being done over the weekend. As for vaccinations, more than 7% of the population has now gotten at least one dose. The health authorities are urging senior citizens to sign up and get vaccinated, pointing out data that show the risks of the vaccine are so small they can't even be compared to the risks of the disease. Han sung woo has the details. South Korea reported 564 new cases of COVID-19 on Sunday, dipping by more than 130 due to fewer tests over the weekend. 522 of Sunday's cases were transmitted locally, with close to 350 of them in Seoul and the surrounding area. These include cluster infections linked to a store selling mobile services and a social gathering in Gyeonggi-do province. There were also outbreaks at a bathhouse in Busan and a high school in Gyeongsangnam-do province. The city of Ulsan, accounting for 28 cases, is reportedly struggling to contain variant strains from abroad. The virus has claimed nine more lives, raising the death toll to 1,874. As for the vaccine campaign, first doses were given on Saturday to another 11,931 people. In total, close to 3.7 million people have now received their first dose. That's about 7.2 percent of the entire population. A little over 2 million people have gotten the AstraZeneca vaccine and nearly 1.7 million the vaccine from Pfizer. Around 27,500 people got their second doses, raising the total number of second dose recipients to just over 501,000. The pace of vaccinations has slowed down, though, with not enough doses arriving in the country to meet demand. There have been another 237 suspected adverse reactions to the shots. Out of the 1,874 people who have died, over 95 percent of them were 60 or older. Senior citizens absolutely need to get vaccinated. Not for the goal of reaching herd immunity, but for the sake of their own health and safety. In the weeks ahead, South Korea will be giving the AstraZeneca vaccine to almost 9 million seniors. For those aged 65 to 74, that starts May 27th, and for people aged 60 to 64, from June 7th. Reservations will start on Monday for those aged 65 to 69. The government has also announced it will not extend the special period of intense inspections on public facilities beyond Sunday, considering the downward trend in infections. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.